Hello, good morning. Welcome to the video lecture on underwater navigation system. Today we are going to discuss about unit number one basis of underwater communication. Video tutorial part two. Understanding thermocline in ocean water. The ocean has three layers. The surface layer is on top, the thermocline in the middle, and the deep ocean on the bottom. Figure 1.3 shows Figure 1.3 shows three low layers of a ocean. The topmost layer is the surface layer, and the middle layer is the thermocline layer, and the lowest layer, deep ocean, and the bottom. The depth of each layer can change based on location and season. The thermocline layer ranges from about 50 meter to 1000 meter. The majority of the ocean water can be found in the deep ocean below the thermocline. The upper surface of the ocean is called the mixed layer. Wind and other forces sweep or mix this upper layer of water to form a relative, uh, relatively constant temperature throughout an year. Depending on weather, season and the latitude, the mixed layer typically ranges from 10 to 200 meters in thickness. The thermocline is a layer of water where temperature changes rapidly with the depth. Because it is the layer uh, in between upper and deep ocean layer. So, here in this layer only, the temperature changes rapidly. In the thermocline, the water quickly gets colder the deeper you go. This layer separates the warm surface layer from the cool deeper water. The thermocline layer separates the warm upper layer and the cool deeper layer. Below the thermocline is the deep ocean. Water here is cold, dense and salty. But here in the deep ocean, salinity and the temperature do not change much as we move downward and become nearly constant. Figure 1.4 shows temperature changes in three layers. Here in the top layer, temperature almost remains constant from 0 to 50 meter and the 50 meter to uh, around 800 meter is the thermocline layer. Here temperature uh, temperature changes drastically. The figure shows this one. And uh, below 800 meter is the deep ocean. Here also temperature remains almost constant. But in the top layer temperature is high. Okay, around 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, in the thermocline layer, the temperature varies from 25 degrees Celsius to uh, 15 degrees Celsius and in deep portion, the temperature is around 50 degrees Celsius. Remember that the thermocline refers to a gradient where temperature changes rapidly with the depth. Okay? Phylocline refers to an area where density changes rapidly with the depth. So what is the difference between thermocline and phylocline? Thermocline where the temperature changes rapidly with the depth, whereas in phylocline uh, refers to an area in the sea where density changes rapidly with the depth. What do you mean by halocline? Halocline is an area where salinity changes rapidly with the depth. Halo refers to salt, salty content. How the salty content varies with respect to the depth in the sea? Sea water density is determined primarily by temperature and salinity, though the influence of temperature is often greater. Just as temperature and salinity influence, 
free water density, the thermocline and halocline affect the phenocline. Just as temperature and salt influence free water density, the thermocline and the halocline affect the phenocline. So the gradient of thermocline and uh, salty content of uh, halocline affects the phenocline. Temperature and salinity, sal salinity tend to remain constant below the phenocline. Below the phenocline layer, temperature and salinity are almost constant. Subsea communication sensor, instruments and applications. Acoustic underwater sensor. Figure 1.5 shows some of the marine and water underwater sensors used frequently in practical applications. Acoustic sensors are also used by sonar systems such as side scan sonars and multi-wave echo sounders. These systems are used for underwater mapping and stratimetry and to detect explosive hazards as part of the MCM, mine counter measures operations. What are the different variety of sensors are available for uh, sea water application, underwater application? Underwater application in the sense it may include pond, river also. A wide variety of sensor instruments are used in the ocean. Acoustic Doppler current profiler, basic flow meter, bottom pressure and tilt meter, continuity temperature depth, CDT, dissolved ozone sensor, digital still camera, high definition video camera, hydrophone, similar to our ordinary microphone, mass cut flow meter, optical attenuation sensor, pH and, and carbon dioxide sensor, pressure sensor, remote access fluid and DNA sampler. This should just sample the living organisms and uh, within the uh, sea. Uh, resistivity probe, seismometer, sonar, thermistor array and a turbulent flow current meter. Types of deep sea sensor. First one is DO sensor. Figure 1.6 shows the DO sensor. This is a, a sample of DO sensor practically used in the underwater sea communication. What is DO sensor? Dissolved oxygen meter to assess water quality and measure the amount of dissolved oxygen in a liquid is one of the most important instruments because of its influence on the organisms living in water. Pressure sensor. Figure 1.7 shows a pressure sensor with the quartz crystal. Seismic activity under is monitored by placing pressure sensor on the sea floor. Physiologic quartz crystal sensor produces charge when placed under pressure. These can measure pressure or weight above the uh, weight of the water above. Pigot sensor. Figure 1.8 shows a pigot sample of a pigot sensor used frequently in the uh, for underwater uh, navigation system. Increasing atmospheric carbon dioxide is driving long-term degrees in ocean pigot. The ion sensitivity field temperature transistor PH sensor IS FET based on the annual duro IS IESFET dye can be immersed directly in sea water. This is useful to measure the pH level of the sea water. Sonar Figure 1.9 shows a multi beam sonar. Both passive and active sonar are used in modern naval warfare from waterborne vessels aircraft and fixed installations. Submarines depend on the on sonar to a great extent for underwater communication. Sonar, the sonar mainly operates on based on the Doppler ship, Doppler effect. A new generation of multi-beam sonar designed for use across a wide variety of underwater applications. Imaging sensor. Figure 1.10 shows a high altitude and high resolution camera system. It, uh, it can act as an image sensor. Underwater photogrammetry in the deep sea is different from that of land or in space. Rough conditions, high pressures, absence of natural light and refraction are some problems usually occur in underwater sea, communica uh, sea communication. 
automation and scattering degrade the radiometric image quality and limit the effective visibility. An optical system for AU, AUVS, what is AUV, autonomous underwater vehicle, for the purpose of visual mapping of large areas of sea floor up to 6,000 meters has been developed. Schematic overview of the components of the high altitude camera system for Geomarama 6000 autonomous water underwater vehicle is shown in figure 1.10. Exhaust and LED cluster, customized flotation uh, between um, LED cluster and uh, lens uh, around 1.9 meter space, tile housing, uh, tile housing and the mount flash electronic control computer, mini microcomputer available within the image sensor, Canon 60 SLR camera, okay, Canon fish eye lens. Underwater sensor network. How an underwater sensor network looks like? DSP, uh, deep sea exploration requires a different approach for communication as compared to shallow water communication. Underwater applications include monitoring, disaster management, military, navigation and sports. Underwater sensor network UWSN is used for underwater exploration. It is a network of autonomous sensor nodes that are spatially distributed underwater to collect temperature, pressure and other water related data. Underwater sensor network UWSN, acoustic trans receivers, trans receivers, both transmitter and receiver are combinedly available in a single chip, used for communication or low frequency waves, but have long wavelengths suitable for long distance communication. Usually for long distance communication, we prefer low frequency signal with a very high wavelength. UWSN finds use in wide range of applications for management and recovery of disaster uh, monitoring and preventive mechanisms. Underwater sensor network with acoustic sensor network and underwater mobile ROV remotely operated vehicle AUV autonomous underwater vehicle sensor network can be used on a large scale for exploration in the deep sea. Usually underwater sensor network um, has acoustic sensor network and underwater mobile network ROV remotely operated vehicle and uh, autonomous underwater sensor network can be used on a large scale okay, in the deep sea. Uh, this is a, uh, this figure depicted the underwater sensor network. In this underwater network, uh, uh, underwater sensor network, you have a uh, one, uh, 1D underwater communication, uh, 3D underwater communication and 2D underwater communication, 4D underwater communication. What is the difference between 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D underwater communication? We are going to see. Uh, we are going to discuss briefly here in this presentation. This one is the onshore on infrastructure. It collects all details from the uh, underwater communication system. And uh, you have some satellite, communica satellite communication also. Okay. You can communicate from the space to the underwater and you can communicate um, with the um, onshore uh, uh, at the terrestrial uh, communication center along with the underwater communication, uh, underwater communication system. Okay, so AUV autonomous, uh, um, okay, autonomous underwater communication is for vehicle and underwater device node, uh, visible as wireless link. Okay, BOUI boy, surface station and the boat. This one is offshore. Okay, this one is sea bed. This one is blue color is sea level. This one is ship. Okay, here now we are going to discuss about uh, different uh, uh, types of uh, architecture used in the underwater communication. One dimensional underwater uh, sensor network architecture refers to a network where sensor nodes are deployed autonomously and work on a standalone network. Each sensor node directly transmits uh, information to a remote station. 
2D underwater sensor network communication is carried in two ways. Each member of the sensor cluster communicates with its anchor nodes with the horizontal communication link and then anchor node communicates with the surface biolog node with the vertical communication link. What is 3D underwater sensor network? 3D underwater sensor network architecture sensors deployed in the form of clusters are anchored at different depths and heights. What is 4D underwater sensor network architecture is a combination of fixed 3D underwater sensor network and mobile UWSN underwater sensor network. Mobile underwater ROVs collect data from anchor nodes and relay it to the remote station. Now you can uh, um, easily differentiate what is 1D uh, underwater sensor network, what is 2D underwater sensor network, what is 3D underwater sensor network and what is 4D underwater sensor network. Once again I am uh, going to explain what is 1D underwater sensor network refers to a network where sensor nodes are deployed refers to a network where sensor nodes are, are deployed autonomously and work on standalone network. Each sensor node directly transmit information to a remote station like a infrared LED. 2D uh, underwater sensor network two ways carried in two ways. Each member of the sensor cluster sensor cluster communicates with its anchor node horizontal communication link and uh, vertical communication link. What is 3D underwater uh, sensor network? In the sensors deployed in the form of clusters, at different depths and heights. What is 4D? It's a combination of 3D cluster underwater sensor network and a mobile underwater SN, mobile underwater uh, uh, UWSN uh, uh, has a ROV remote operating vehicle and AUV. Uh, Collect data from anchor nodes and the 